This is a life-transforming message from Life by Design Ministries in Denver, Colorado. And now let's join Pastor Peter Tav. Well, amen, amen, amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Come on, give God some praise right where you are. Make yourself known in the chat room. Amen. Let's get ready to jump into the, the word for tonight. I'm telling you, God is just releasing so much. Glory be to God and speaking to our hearts. Amen. How many ready for their sight to be recovered? Glory to God. How many ready? Amen. For some, for a spiritual um, prescription, if you will, glory be to God, to recover um, your sight in blinded areas. Amen. We're going to deal with all that tonight. Glory to God. We're still in our series of setting your house in order. And um, God it just has us dealing with this arena of blindness. And then we're going to go into some things of application, amen, to get your house in order financially, health-wise, and all of those things. All of that is coming. Glory be to God. So stay connected, amen, and let God bring this transformation in your life. Let's pray together, and then we're going to jump into the... the into the word, amen, for tonight. Let's pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we bless you, we praise you, and we give you glory. We thank you, Father, for your word that you have prepared for us tonight. Let your word come like it's never come before. Let us hear like we never heard before. And Father, we thank you, God, for... Um, transformation in our life. We thank you for transformation in our sight. God, we thank you, God, for opening our eyes in blinded areas. In Jesus' name, we give you praise and we give you glory for the strength of your word. Amen, amen, and amen. Come on, give God some praise. Hallelujah right now. Amen. I'm, I'm, I'm checking out my chat. I want to make sure that you're there. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Somebody say, put it in the chat room right now. Lord, recover my sight. Recover my sight. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Reach out and let somebody know that we're on. Let's go. Let's go. You should have your notes there. Again, we're in the kingdom series of set your house in order. Now, I don't want you to miss anything inside of this. Glory be to God, because this is setting the framework of for us to, um, to um, catapult us forward going forward throughout the year. We're just going to set some things in order. In other words, we're going to stop living with things broken. Oh, can I get an amen? We're going to stop living beneath the promise. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. We're going to set it in order. We're going to believe God for great increase, and we're going to walk in this kingdom assigned life, amen, that God has prepared for us. All right, glory be to God. T the message for tonight and I, I want to just kind of, might come at you a little different tonight as, they, as we just walk through this word, because I want to show you how we can, uh, we can bring a recovery of sight in areas that we're blinded. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's learn together tonight. Tonight's message, sight transformation. Somebody echo that in the, in the chat room. Sight transformation. Faith com becomes my sight. <laughs> oh, glory to God. Let me say that again. Sight transformation. In other words, glory be to God. Being transformed in your sight arena. And, it's, and then it says, faith becomes my sight. What an awesome shift in your life when faith can become your sight. Oh, my Lord. Hallelujah. We'll see that. I'm lifting this up out of Genesis 13 chapter, and that's going to be um, towards the end of our message in the night. We're going to deal with that. It says um, in verse 13, 14 and 15, it says, And the Lord said to Abram, after Lot has separated from him, hmm, lift up now thy eyes and look from the place where thou art. I want, I, I want you to catch that. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Um, um, and catch it and understand that right where you are, whew, with a sight transformation, glory be to God, you can see some things like you ain't never seen before. Let me finish reading the verse. We'll preach it later. Uh, look from the place where thou art, northward and southward, eastward and westward. For all the land that thou seest, I will give it to thee and to thy seed forever. Amen. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. They're going to hand me something here. Thank you. Glory to God. Amen. Let's go deeper. Subtitle of today's message, See by Faith. Everybody say, See by Faith. Come on, I want you to put that in there. I want you to put that in there. See by Faith. In other words, you got to be careful that in your walk, you don't revert back to seeing things only through a natural lens. 
When you do that, you come down to the enemy's territory. You come down to his turf. Glory to God. Hallelujah. He can mess with you there. You got to be able to see by faith. Amen. And Hebrews 11 and 1 says this. Um, now faith is a substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Oh, my God. Hallelujah. When we can store seeing it by faith. Oh, my God. Hallelujah. All the little darks he's throwing at us, amen, just fall to the ground because we're not looking at it from that perspective. We're seeing it by faith, and we know God's going to come through. Amen. In this um, double new beginnings, glory to God, we, 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 I want you to make a confession. Glory to God, this is my season of double. Come on, just put that in the chat room. This is my season of double new beginnings. I'm getting a fresh start naturally, spiritually. I'm getting a fresh start in, in every arena, and I am receiving double for my shame, for my confusion. I'm rejoicing. Uh, glory to God. I'm going to have my portion, amen, and I'm going to have double. Somebody say, I'm getting double for my trouble. Glory be to God. I'm getting double for my trouble. All the things you've been pressing through, all the, all the seasons, glory be to God, hallelujah, of your weight and your press, glory be to God. Come on, let's make a confession. We're going to receive double, and we're going to start with a new beginning, in both naturally and spiritually. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Ooh, how, many, how many would love to kickstart a new beginning in the arena of your patience? Glory be to God. How many would love to start a, a new beginning in the arena of your attitude? Just, just kick off a new beginning. So much so, when you show up at work, they'd be saying, who is that? <laughs> Who glory be to God. Hallelujah. How many would love to have a new beginning that when the enemy bring your old stuff, your old triggers, glory be to God, he, he discovers they don't work no more. Oh, Jesus said it this way. The enemy comes, but he finds nothing in me. No buttons. Oh, somebody throw their hands up and say, no buttons, no buttons, no buttons. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Amen. All right. Um, those, verses, those key verses that I have there, we'll pick those up inside of our lesson on tonight. So we'll deal with them there. Let's, get, let's move on into our kingdom points for tonight. Sight transformation. Faith comes by. Uh, faith becomes my sight. Faith becomes my sight. Oh, come on, just meditate on that for a minute. Faith becomes my sight. Hallelujah. Oh, I remember, I remember Isaac was, was looking for the lamb. He said, Father, I got the wood. I got the fire. Where's the lamb? You said we was going to worship. <laughs> oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. God had told um, 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 Abraham to go uh, offer Isaac up, but um, Abraham said, the Lord will provide. Faith became his sight. <laughs> in that moment. Let's look. First king to point, water application. Oh, amen. Just circle that and say, that's my prescription. Glory be to God. Water application. Water application. Mm -hmm. King to point number two, for his glory, the Lord hid this. I, I, I want to spend a little time inside of that because I don't want us to be in a position um, by lack of knowledge that we allow the enemy to beat us up. Amen. Glory be to God. Because we're blinded in certain areas. Amen. Oh, so this is going to help us. Amen. Somebody say, for his glory, for his glory, glory to God. Hallelujah. And know that when, even when the Lord hides his, some things from us or he doesn't give us that discernment in that area, he hasn't disconnected for us, and then there's going to be a glory after this. Amen. All right. Um, kingdom point number three, by faith, see it from where you are. By faith, see it from where you are. Everybody say, by faith, see it from where you are. Now, if you catch this, you get to come off of the bench of waiting, glory be to God, and start making some moves because you can see it, glory be to God, and you're not waiting for things to change for you to see it. You can see it by faith. Um, let's look at our case study, our over, overreaching case study for the, tonight's lesson, and then we're going to go on into our kingdom points. In Mark, the eighth chapter, we dealt with this or introduced this on Sunday. Um, it says, uh, verse 22, and he cometh to Bethesda, and they bring a blind man unto him, and besought him, him being Jesus, to touch him. For Jesus to touch the blind man. Glory be to God. If he's touched you today, glory be to God. Say, I've been touched. I've been touched. Come on, put it in the chat room right now. I've been touched. Make that confession. Oh, my God. I love the level setting that the Lord is doing. I love how he's destroying chains and yokes that have been put on us by religion and traditions of man. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. 
it's good to know that we've been touched by him and then that we still go from righteousness to righteousness. And we're going to see how that goes here in a minute. Verse 23. And he took the blind man by the hand. Now, this is my verse that I want us to deal with. And he took the blind man by the hand mm -hmm. and led him out of town. Okay. And when he has spat on his eyes, he put his hands up on him and asked him if he had saw, saw out. In other words, can you see it all? Catch, catch this now, what he's talking about. He says, he took the blind man by the hand and led him out of town. Now, we didn't deal with any of this on Sunday. We're going to just peek into it a little bit tonight. He took him by the hand. He's blind, so he can't see. So Jesus takes him by the hand and leads him out of town. Amen. And then he spat on his eyes. <laughs> Ooh. Now, that's speaking to something because spit, saliva, water, has been now applied to this man's eyes. And I believe Jesus is speaking directly to us. Apply water to your eyes so you can see. <laughs> Oh, and I just gave you the whole message right there. Apply water to your eyes. so you can, This is water application. Apply water to your eyes so you can see. Watch this. And put his hands on him and ask him if he has sought it out. Glory to God. Now watch this. Hallelujah. He looked up and he said, I see men walking in the streets. And after that, he put his hands upon him um, again upon his eyes and made him look up. And he was restored in every man's um and saw every man clearly, glory be to God. So as we brought on, on Sunday, there was a double tap. He touched them twice, glory be to God. And I am really believing God is going to touch the church again. Hallelujah. Come on, give him a praise on that right there. I'm believing God is going to touch the church again. Hallelujah. Oh, he has led us out of town. He's sped in our eyes. We see, but we're not seeing clearly. Glory be to God. We're not seeing men clearly. Hallelujah. We send them through the lenses of judgment. We're sending them through the lens of outcast. Glory be to God. But we should be seeing them through the lens of harvest. Glory be to God. For he said, look up, the harvest is plentiful and the laborers are few. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So God, I believe God is going to touch the church again. He's doing it right now, touching us again. We're getting a clear revelation of who Jesus is. Glory be to God and what the work of the kingdom is all about. Oh, he's moving us out of feelings into faith. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody give God some praise on that right now. Hallelujah. All your churchy church, get ready to go by the wayside, and here comes the kingdom. Somebody put it in the, in the chat room. Here comes the kingdom. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Ah. Oh, I remember when the time he, he said, glory be to God, when he had delivered a man, he said, if I by the spirit of God have set this man free, then the kingdom of God is coming to you. Oh, somebody put it in the chat room right now. Here comes the kingdom. Hallelujah. He's raising up his sons. Glory be to God. With a, with a second touch, glory be to God. And men are going to be, and we are going to begin to walk and see men clearly. Glory be to God and make kingdom impact in the earth. Now let's go on to our kingdom point number one, water application. I want to make the connection between water, um, what this water is, and, and its application, and really water in the word. We're going to see it. Genesis 21 and 19, we see this, this, this first um, uh, connection of water in sight. Watch this now. And God opened her eyes. This is Ishmael's mother. Ishmael is crying. Um, the bottle of water that she was given from Abraham when she left had ran out, and the child's now thirsty, and he's crying. And, um, and she set the child down on the side in, in a hopeless situation because she thought the situation was hopeless. Glory to God. Hallelujah. How many can understand sometimes when you're blind and you can't see your resources, you feel like it's hopeless. You look like, I ain't no way I'm going to get out of this. Hey, ha, ha, ha. Don't, don't, there's no exit on this. Bank account saying it's hopeless. Glory be to God. Friends are saying it's hopeless. I ain't got nothing to give you. Glory be to God. But with God, it's not hopeless. Write this down. Death can't be on the table without life being right next to it. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Can't be. So if I only see in one option, I am blinded to the second option, and I need God to open my eyes. <laughs> Help us, Lord. Watch this. Genesis 21, 19. He said, and God opened her eyes. Watch this. And, and she saw a well of water. Oh, catch this. The well of water was there. 
but she couldn't see it. Your exit is there, but you can't see it. But God is getting ready to open your eyes to the blinded areas of your life. You're getting ready to lose your blind spot. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. And she went and filled the bottle with water and gave the lad drink. Hallelujah. Throw your hands up and say, Lord, open my eyes, open my eyes, open my eyes, open my eyes, open my eyes. You ain't got to set your, you ain't got to set, watch this, you don't have to set what you gave birth to aside as to I'm going to set it aside because I don't want to see it die in front of my eyes, glory be to God, because it's hope. I'm, I'm feeling so hopeless. I don't feel like I have the resources. I don't feel like I have the things that I need to make it happen, glory be to God. Oh, no, what you need to know is, glory be to God, is water application. <laughs> Let's go a little bit deeper. We're going to see it come together. Watch this. John 4 and 10 says this, and Jesus answered and said unto her, now he's talking to the woman at the well. He's talking to the woman at the well. You know the story of, of the woman at the well. You know that she ends up getting free. Glory be to God. Oh, my God. You got to catch the story now because Jesus had 12 guys that were blinded from true harvest. Yeah. Oh, come on. You got to catch the story. The 12 disciples, eyes had not been opened to true harvest yet. Glory be to God. So he sends them to the store because where they are right now in the level of their blindness right now, he would not be able to get this woman free in their presence. So he sends them to the store. Y'all go to the store. Y'all go to the store. Y'all got a store. It's, it, 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 it's like the man in Bethesda, he leads them out of town. Out of, out of town, glory be to God. Oh, sometimes you got to have to turn the channel. Glory be to God. Turn off the TikTok. Glory be to God. Shift environments. Glory be to God. And let God open your eyes. Watch it. And Jesus said unto her, if thou knowest the gift of God, uh-huh, if you knew, you're blinded to it right now at this point of the conversation. If you knew the gift of God and who it was that said unto thee, give me the drink, thou would ask of him and he would have given thee living water. Now, if you go on with the story, you know the story is that she's looking for the Messiah. And the Messiah is talking to her directly. <laughs> she's right in the presence of that which she's looking for, but her eyes are blinded and she can't see it. Ooh. Thank God that wasn't the end of the story. Because he keeps working with her and gets her eyes open. And then she goes and tells others in town, say, come, don't, is this not the Messiah? Well, he has told me everything about me. Glory be to God. Her eyes have been opened. But it, get, it comes down, he says this about the living water. He said, if you would ask of him, watch this, ask who? Everybody said the gift that God gave. Oh. <sighs> Come on, you got to go back to Sunday now. Glory be to God that I said I want to preach John 3, 16. Glory be to God because that was the gift that God gave. You, if you would ask the gift that God gave, glory be to God, he would give you, watch this, living water. Everybody say, he'll give you living water. <laughs> glory be to God. Hallelujah. Then, now we're going we're gonna to make a connection that this living water is the word, and glory be to God, and this, li this water I can apply to my eyes that are blinded, and it will open my eyes up. <laughs> stay with it, stay with it, stay with it. Let's go. We're just walking through it. Glory be to God. Ephesians 5, 26. Now we make this connection, water and word. That he may sanctify it and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word. Everybody say, with the washing of water by the word. Oh, man. I tell you, the church got to be touched again. Glory be to God. I, I, I got a story inside of that. I won't even bring it up. It, 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 it was so crazy. Amen. They was trying. Anyway, the, the, the water washes us. And that water is the word. Glory be to God. That word washes us. Okay. So now we see water and word uh, being made. Um, the water means the word. Glory be to God. Everybody say the water speaks to the word. Oh, okay. So now we start going back and look at, at Mark 8 again now and understand the spitting of the eyes. What he's speaking to us is apply my word to your eyes because my word is the water 
and my, my word will open blinded eyes. Are you with me so far? All right, let's see how David wrote it. David wrote it this way. He says in Psalms 119, 105, Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Glory be to God. Your word gives me, watch this, sight. Amen. It allows me the ability to see. It becomes a lamp and a light. Amen. To my path. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So watch this now. Back to Mark 8. Are you with me? Are you with me? Come on. This is, this is very practical. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. And it, it, I'm putting it down. Ooh, where a two-year-old can get it. Watch this now. Glory be to God. No, no disrespect. Watch this. Mark 8, 23. And he took the blind man by the hand and led him out of town, and he spat on his eyes and put his hands up on him and asked him if he saw. He applied water to the man's eyes, speaking to us that when you apply this word to your eyes, It'll cause you to see what you hadn't seen before. Ooh. It'll cause you to see what you haven't seen before. That there's well sitting right next to you. Glory be to God. We're going to see it here that when the, when the word of faith gets applied to your eyes, you'll be able to see the wells. You, come on, I, I just feel like I got to go a little ahead to help somebody. Glory be to God. Because when, 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 the word is faith. When, when it's applied to my eyesight, when there's sight transformation, I'll be able to see things that are always been made of, that have already been sitting there available to me that I never saw before. I see doors that I can walk straight through. Glory be to God. I see resources that have been set aside and provided for me. Glory to God. Let's look at it. Luke 4, 18, Luke 14, this is what Jesus, he took this, he took the word, the scribe, he was in the temple that day, he took the scroll, and he turned to this place in Isaiah, and he began to read, and he said, the spirit of the Lord is upon me. Now we know Jesus is the word. He said, the spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. <laughs> he has sent me to heal the brokenhearted. Everybody say, this, th this word will heal broken hearts. Oh, I feel like throwing something right now. Glory be to God. Everybody say this word will heal, bro. Don't back up on God. Glory be to God. I mean, the word says it will heal your broken heart. Oh, y'all going to mess with me today. No, 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 no. We, we, we don't have to leave the house of bread. The word said it will heal the broken heart to preach deliverance to the captives. Mm-hmm. Watch this now. And recovering of sight to the blind. Oh. Oh, if I say all oh, this is in the word, the word will, will, will cause the, the blind to have sight recovery. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. To set a liberty them that abuse, to preach the acceptable year of the Lord. Glory be to God. Somebody throw your hands up and say, this is the acceptable year of the Lord. Glory be to God. This is my year of double. Glory be to God. I'm going, I'm going for double. Glory be to God. New beginnings in, in natural and spiritual glory to God. And I'm receiving all of this. I'm receiving a gospel to, amen, to, 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 to the area that I'm lacking, glory be to God, hallelujah. I, I'm, I'm receiving the gospel, the word, amen, to heal me where my heart has been broken, glory to God. I'm, I'm receiving a gospel, a word, amen, to set me free and bring delivery to areas that have that I'm stuck in, that I've been held captive in. Oh, my Lord. Come on. Glory be to God. And I'm going to recover my sight. I'm supposed to see on another level. Oh, my Lord. I'm supposed to see on another level. Mm. Mm. Now, everything about me is supposed to be on another level. Because I've been clothed in this righteousness. So I'm supposed to be on another low. Yeah. Hallelujah. Just set a liberty to them that are bruised. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Y'all with me? Glory be to God. So watch this now. So, so, so everybody say, I'm going to apply, watch this analogy, this word to my sight, to my eyes. So it can, watch this, open it up so I can see. You've been, you've been there. You've been there. You've been there with situations saying, I, I just can't see it. I just can't. I can't. I can't. Watch this. I can't see. I can't see how to forgive in that area. Apply the word. It'll show you how to forgive. I can't see how to get peace in that area. Apply the word. It'll show you how to get peace in that area. Glory to God. I remember a time. Quick, quick testimony, quick testimony. I remember a time, glory be to God, hallelujah. 
um, I had got, I, I was away for a little while and I came back and I had got a little, um, in my, my neighborhood, they give you little summons uh, um, if you don't um, take care of your rocks and weeds are growing through your rocks and all that. And so I got a little note on my door saying I had to take care of this. And I, so I went out there um, to the rocks area and uh, God said, apply the word to it. So I went down by the rocks and I, and, and, and I just pulled up a little weeds and I just speak to, the, I said, I'm just, I'm just speaking that this is going to be transformed, right? Glory be to God. Hallelujah. And then, watch this. No sooner than I did this, a man that was, that was, had the ability to work and do this kind of work was right across the street. So I walked right across the street and said, hey, can you take care of this for me? Uh, can I get you to, uh, um, can I buy your services to take care of this for you? He said, oh, yeah, no problem. And took care of it. I'll just apply the word, and the resources showed up. Come on. Now, this is how we live. I said, this is how we live. Now, if you don't want to live like this, you're going to have to get out the room, because this is how the, 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 the just shall live by faith. Let's see it together. For his glory, the Lord hit this. For his glory, the Lord hit this. I don't want you to beat yourself up because of your blinded areas. Blinded areas are to be healed or to be worked through. And in this case, in some situations, amen, God has set it for another level of glory to be revealed. John 9 and 1 says this. Now, he, Jesus deals with this directly because a lot of times when there's an area of deficiency in our life, we attribute it to sin. Amen. So because you can't um, get the answer as quick as, as, as Jane did, um, the enemy will whisper in your ear and you are attributed to sin. Not so. Not so. John 9, one, verse 1. And Jesus passed by, and he saw a man which was blind from his birth. Okay, man was born blind. And the disciples asked, saying, Master, who did sin? This man? That means from, from, from baby. Or his parents? That he was born blind. And Jesus answered, Neither have this man sinned, nor his parents in other words, not that they were without any sin in their life, but that's not the cause of his blindness. Oh, you ought to shout and just ran around your room. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Because the enemy always wants to attribute you, when you're still going through something, attribute it to a sin. Nope. If I say, somebody say, for his glory. <laughs> oh, because the enemy is an accuser of the brethren, and he's either accusing um, you or he's accusing God to you. Glory to God. Watch that. Jesus answers, and neither have this man sinned nor his parents, but that the works of God should be made manifest in him. Throw your hands up and say, the works of God will be made manifest in me. God's going to manifest his works in me. Glory be to God. He's going to open my eyes to see new wells. Glory be to God. He's going to open my eyes to see new exit strategies. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. He's going to open my eyes. Hallelujah. So you got to get out of that self-condemnation. Glory be to God and stay with God. So let's see it. Let's see it. Let's see it applied here. In 2 Kings, 2 Kings, um, the fourth chapter. Now, in 2 Kings, the fourth chapter, we deal with the woman who had made room for the man of God. And the man of God, amen, asked her what did she want by the Spirit of God. She didn't want anything, and then the servant says, well, she don't have a child, so, and because she had, watch this, she had buried that request down in her soul. She had just gave up on it altogether. She had cried her last tears about it, and because she didn't think that would ever happen, glory be to God. But God has a way of making what you don't think will ever happen, happen for you. Oh, somebody ought to be running right now. I said, what, what you thought would never happen, because she, you know, she thought she had missed her window. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. But here's the thing about God. He can create a new window. <laughs> Woo! 
glory to God. Hallelujah. I said he can create a new window. So, so, so um, he releases a word in her life, and, and that word, amen, in her life produces a child in her life. Um, her and her husband, they have a child. Glory be to God. One day the child gets sick. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. He is screaming, probably like an aneurysm, and dies. So now she's coming back to the source that provided the word, the, the child. See, that's why it's not good to take credit after God gave you something, because now you got to go to yourself since you took the credit. <laughs> but if you let God be the, get the glory, then you can go back to God. <laughs> Concerning, let's go. All right. Second Kings, I just want to set up the story of who we're dealing with. That's who we're dealing with. Glory be to God. Watch this now. Second Kings 4.26. So the, um, it says, right now I pray that they, um, the man of God sees the woman coming. And he tells his servant, go, go, go. Ooh, she's moving here. Go, go check on her. Meet her halfway. Kind of sound like prodigal something. I, how he came and met her. Me, go, go catch her and find out what's going on there. Because she, she's moving. She's mo and she's coming to us. So he said, run now, I pray thee, to meet her. And say unto her, is it well with thee? Is it well with thy husband? Is it well with the child? He's checking on the word that has been released in the heart. You've been good to me. I, I, how is the blessing operating still in your life? Watch this now. Glory. And she answered, watch this, it is well. It's well. I didn't say it didn't need no attention. I said it's well. <laughs> Somebody just put it in the chat I'm going to learn how to talk in difficult situations. <sighs> yeah. Said it's well. Watch this, verse 27. And it, see, because so, uh, sometimes we don't, we don't believe we have difficult situations. Uh huh. Sometimes, you know, we get so super saying we don't believe, we, we think it's a letdown to be able to say, you know, we're having a difficult situation here. No, I just, got, I just need to know how to talk in my difficult situation. Glory be to God. I remember the enemy was pressing up on me. Glory be to God. Through, through, through that season, glory be to our grief. And I just set myself on, I'm standing. <laughs> that was me learning how to talk in difficult situations. Glory be to God. I was letting my emotions and my feelings know, no, you don't get to be pronounced in my life. I'm pronouncing what I'm doing. I'm standing. Glory to God. Somebody asked me, how y'all doing? I said, I'm standing. Oh, yeah. Gotta know how to talk in difficult situations. <laughs> Verse 27. And, she came, and when she came to the man of God, to the hill, she caught him by the feet. But Gazar, that's the servant, came to thrust her away. You know. <laughs> he kind of, he, right there, I just saw flashes of the disciples, you know. When people try to get close to Jesus, they'll thrust him away. When he was given to us. Oh, glory, baby. We had to come back on that again. But Gazar thrust came to thrust her away. And the man of God said, let her alone. I know what you're trying to do. You're trying to cover me. You're trying to walk on your road as armor bearer and all that. But let her alone. I said, for her soul is vexed within her. I see something you don't see, gaze up. You see in her naturally. A global beauty guy. I'm looking, I'm looking past the outer surface. I'm looking at her soul. Her soul is troubled. That's why I sent you to meet her. Go, go, go see if it's well with her. It's something how she's moving. Yeah. Who did I see? Glory be to God. Throw your hands up and say, God sees me. Glory be to God. So I can watch my words and I can know how to talk in difficult situations because he sees me. Glory be to God. He's already inspected my situation. So I don't have to announce the negative because he sees me. Yeah. yeah. I need you to just go get at his feet. Glory be to God. Like Mary, glory be to God. And choose that good part. And hear the word. Watch this. Let her alone, for her soul is vexed within her, and the Lord hath, watch this, hid this from me and have not told me. I see the vexation, but I don't know the situation. But I know there is a situation. The Lord has hid what the situation is. He's hid that it even happened. But I can see it. So now he doesn't disqualify himself as being God's man. He understands that that's God's um, prerogative. 
<laughs> he's not obligated. Glory be to God to tell me until he want to tell me. Glory to God. So, so he doesn't go beat up on God or beat up on himself. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. He stays in position. He stay. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. He stays in the flow. Glory be to God. He keeps his ear bent towards God. God, I, 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 there's something going on here. Glory be to God. And I know you're too faithful to turn your back on what you have already touched. Glory to God. You have already touched this woman. Glory be to God. So I know you're going to be faithful all the way through it. What you want to do next, God? <sighs> See, we go chasing the trivia. We go chasing the trivia. You end up like, you end up like, uh, Jonah, glory be to God, running away from assignments because you're chasing the trivia. Uh -huh. Woo! Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Because you don't like how God operates. Yeah, no, he, that's why he ran. He's like, nah, I, I, know, I know if they repent, you're going to forgive them. Well, what you want them to do? Oh. Oh, you want him to you want him to blow up your name. You want to be big bad prophet. You blind, you don't see harvest. So God had to teach him with a tree. Glory be to God. <laughs> and a leaf and some shade. Glory to God to get his eyes open. I mean, let's go. Let's go. Let's have, that's that's another story. But I, I want you to see, and the reason why I'm bringing that up, because I want you to see that there's that, that the men have always wrestled in this arena of bl being blind in areas to the will of God. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. But God wants us to stay in the flow with him. So he said, the Lord has hid this from me and have not told it from me. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. So now the rest of that is there. Glory be to God. And you'll see how God recovers the son and all of that. But I wanted you, I just wanted to bring that out to lift you up in the areas. Glory be to God. Because somebody might be dealing with some blind areas. Do I got a witness in the room? Come on. If you're dealing with some blind areas, glory be to God. I said, I just, you know, you, you done been around this circle a couple of times. You've been around that mountain a couple of times. You, you just keep missing the exit. I just, I can't see the exit. Glory. My GPS ain't working right. Glory be to God. I can't see it. I can't see it. Glory to God. If that's you, come on, put it in the chat room because I want you to know God says stay with him. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Get out of self-judgment. Get out of accusation towards God. Job said, Job held his tongue. When he couldn't see what God was doing. God, I don't, I don't, I don't, this ain't like you. I, I, don't, I don't see what you're doing. <laughs> I'm blinded. Oh, inside of this particular experience. <laughs> Amen. Glory be to God. Somebody just put it in there. Lord, open my eyes. Open my eyes. Open my eyes. Glory be to God. Make, matter of fact, make this confession. I'm going to stay with you, God. I'm going to stay with you, God. See, here's the disciples. They couldn't see it. They couldn't see it. When, when Jesus said, um, to follow me, you got to eat of my flesh and drink of my blood, they, 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 couldn't see, they, they really couldn't handle that. They couldn't see that. As, as a matter of fact, the other crowd that was with them, all the other disciples with them said, oh, no, that's it. Uh-uh. I'm just, I just wanted some fish multiplying power. That's all I was here for. That was kind of cool how you, you know, fed 5,000 with one sack lunch. You know, I got 12 kids. I just wanted some fist multiplying power. See, some people just want what they can get out of this thing with God to make life comfortable here. So they said, no, nah, we, we, we ain't for all that, eating your flesh, drinking your blood. Now, you done went too far. Watch this. They said, I ain't, feel, I ain't feeling that. You feeling that? I ain't feeling that, man. Because it was, it, was it was covenant conversation. And they weren't ready for covenant conversation. Now, we ready for hangout conversation, but covenant conversation. <laughs> See, everybody want to quote Ruth, glory be to God, where you lodge, I lodge, where you die, I die. But everybody ain't really in for covenant conversation. Because sometimes where you lodge may not be comfortable. <laughs> oh, 
Woo, glory be to God. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Glory to God. So they weren't ready for it. And so then after they left, Jesus turned to the disciples and said, Would well, y'all gonna go too? And they said they were scratching their heads and whoo, we want to. Ooh, man, I should have stayed with the boat. I should have stayed with the boat. Uh, man, that's a hard saying, Jesus. But where are we going to go? Watch this. You have the words, the water of eternal life. There's no other well like this one we have here. So we're just going to have to deal with it. Even though our minds is, is struggling with seeing the full extent of what you just said. My, my, my intellect is blinded to what you just said. But I know, not, I know this much. You have the words of eternal life, so we're going to stick it out. <sighs> Amen? Amen? Come on, give God some praise on that. Glory be to God. Come on, give him some praise on that. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. If you're catching these principles that I'm sharing with you, they keep you in blinded moments, glory be to God, to keep trusting God, and that God will open your eyes and show you the way of escape. Let's go to our last kingdom point. That's our last kingdom point? Yes, our last kingdom point. By faith, see it from where you are. Say that with me. By faith, see it from where you are. <laughs> Hallelujah. I want you to really accent that from where you are. The enemy loves to put the recovering of your sight down the road. Watch this. When my bank account gets this much, I can see myself getting the house. God says, see it from where you are. <laughs> because he'll keep put, the enemy will keep pushing that carrot out. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. See it from where you are. I said, Romans 1, 17. Now, we're going to lay these principles down, then we'll be all together done. For therein, watch this now. For therein is the righteousness of God revealed, watch this now, from faith to faith. As it is written, the just shall live by faith. Let's deal with this. Let's deal with this. Watch this now. He said, for therein is the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith. Now, remember, we shared on Sunday that you have been given the best robe, the best robe of righteousness. Now, this builds upon that and says that, that my ability to see into that is tied to my faith. If I say from faith to faith. In other words, the more my faith grows, the more I get to see and discern this robe of righteousness that I'm on. Glory be to God. And, theref and therefore, it gives me the ability to walk in that level of righteousness. From, everybody say from faith to faith. As it is written, the just shall live by faith. So the just lives by going from one level of faith revelation to the next level of faith revelation, glory be to God, all concerning the righteousness of God. In other words, that if I, could, if I keep going with him and keep growing with him, what I can see a year from now, I might not be able to see at this level of my faith. If my faith keep growing, I can see another level of righteousness. Amen. Okay, let me help you with that. At one point, your level of righteousness was just to say your prayers before you go to sleep. <laughs> and, even the, and even in that prayer, it was, thou lay me down to sleep. <laughs> I pray the Lord my soul to keep. If I should die before I wake, amen, I pray the Lord my soul to take. My faith was in that. Glory be to God. It wasn't in a conversation with God. It wasn't in hearing from God. Glory be to God. But I was acknowledging him. That's where I was. Glory be to God. But then I began to grow, and then I began to see righteousness at a whole nother level as it concerning my prayer life. So when Jesus was dealing with them in, in Matthew, um, the sixth chapter, he was just saying, come to another, another level of righteousness and seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and, and stop praying like this and come here. Get your faith and pray it here. 
All right? So that makes sense to everybody. Everybody say, from faith to faith. Yeah. Say it with me, from faith to faith. Oh, no. Uh, I got to stay here a little bit more. Everybody say, from faith, faith. to faith. Not, not man's accolades to man's accolades. From faith to faith. To your growth, all right? So watch this now. Then it says, the just, it is written, the just shall live by faith. We're the just. The just shall live by faith. God said, this is how I set it for you to live. <laughs> not to get saved and then go back to living naturally like you have not been touched before. No, this is a continuation in he's touched me, now go to the next level. I got to walk by faith. So watch this, 2 Corinthians 5 and 7 says this, for we walk by faith, say it with me, we walk by faith and not by sight. So I, I don't get to go back to living naturally. This is, this is interesting. This is interesting. Let, 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 me, let me put this in there. Let me put this in there. Because a lot of times, this, where this really needs to be applied is, everybody say, when I'm in trouble. <laughs> when trouble didn't hit my house, either in the health, the wealth, the broken heart, spirit, whatever, whatever it is, glory be to God. I can't go back to, to the natural. I got to know. I got to live by faith. Somebody said, I got to handle this by faith. I got to see my way through this by faith. And not by natural sight. So let's go deeper. Next step. Hebrews 11 and 6. Let me know you follow me. Let me know you follow me. Glory be to God. Because remember now, when it shows up, the enemy wants you to go and, 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 and not acknowledge God and try to fix it yourself in the natural. You're going to make a bigger mess of it. When you, when, when you take God out of the equation of your solution, then you end up with self-justification of the flesh. And you say, and then you say at the end, that's why I hit upside the head. <laughs> Amen. No, come on, come on. Come on, lean in. No, that's why I hit her upside And you feel good about hitting her upside the head. Now, you know God don't want you to hit him upside the head. And he told Peter to put your sword up. Amen? Glory be to God. So, so I got to handle this. I need somebody to put that in the chat room right now. I got to handle this by faith. I got to handle this, this problem in my house by faith as I set my house in order. I got I to gotta handle this situation on my job by faith. Glory be to God. I can't go nasty for nasty. Glory be to God. They doing nasty. I can't get down in the muck of the mire and do nasty against them because they doing nasty against me. Glory be to God. I can't go back to the logic where I ain't going to sit here like no dummy. Glory be to God. No, I got to handle this by faith. Let me know if you hear me. Let me know if you hear me. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. That's why I got to know how to talk in difficult situations. As you fight for your limitations, you, you, you'll be able to keep them. Glory to God. Amen. <laughs> Let's go. I'm a so he says this. For we walk by faith, not by sight. That's 2 Corinthians. Now let's go to Hebrews 11 6. Let's see how all this comes together. He said, but without faith, watch this now, it's impossible to please him, him being God. It, but without faith, everybody say, without faith, it's impossible to please God. Now we want to please God. Come on, put it in the chat. Yes, I want to please God. I want to please God. Watch this now. Without faith, it's impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is and that he is the rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Glory be to God. I want to please God, but it's impossible to please God without faith. So I cannot please God reverting back to living by sight. Can't do it. I please my flesh. My flesh will get, my flesh will get some accolades from other flesh. Matter of fact, I can throw a whole party on it. Yeah. Everybody be up in there. Yeah. But when I start walking by faith, glory be to God, and handling that situation by faith, amen, people start going away like they did Jesus. 
Nah, ain't feeling that. Well, you got to make up your mind. You going to please man, you going to please God. I want to please him. I want to hear him say, well done. I want to hear him say, well done. Who glory be to God. Oh, you hearing what I'm saying? Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Stay with me. They, they hear me. Glory to God. Watch that. He said, um, so I understand that faith is attached to my pleasing him. Romans 12 and 2. So I'm going somewhere with this now. Watch this now. So without faith, it's impossible to please him. That's the key. I'm setting up a principle. Okay. Romans 12 and 2 said, be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Watch that. That you may prove what is the good and acceptable and perfect will of God. So then Romans 12 and 2 comes back and tells me about a transformation. That I've got to come out of one form and be transformed by my mind being renewed, by sight coming into my mind. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. That I may be able to prove the good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Amen. So, Hebrews 11 and 1. Now, faith is a substance, watch this now, of things hoped for. Oh, there was another verse. Yeah, hold on. There was another verse. I'm looking for, I was looking for it. You don't have this on your thing. Before I go to Hebrews, I want you to go back to something. Watch this. Second Peter um, pull it up from Second Peter, the first chapter, verses 8 through 10. Somebody put that in the chat room so they can get it. It's not in your notes. Pull it up. Get your Bible out. Second Peter, first chapter, verses 8 through 10. Now watch this now. Everybody say, growth is necessary. Growth is necessary. He says, for if these things be in, in you and abound, okay, verse 7 of that says, well, let's go back up. And verse 5, and besides this, giving all diligence, add to your, what's this, faith, virtue, and to virtue, knowledge, and to knowledge, temperance, and to temperance, patience, and to patience, godliness, and to godliness, brotherly kindness, and to brotherly kindness, charity. Then it says in verse 8, for if these things be in you and abound, everybody say abound. In other words, I ain't got to just a drip of patience. I've, I've been working on it, my patience. I've been taking those situations at the grocery store and said, you know what? This is a good, this is a, a good um, a spiritual gem to build my patience. Because I ain't understanding what's going on right about up in here, up in here with this. But it's, instead, of, instead of talking about, you know what? This is a good patience moment. Let me still have a kind word when I get there. Hallelujah. I got to build it up. Come on. I got to, these things not only got to be in me, but they got to abound. Put in the chat room right now. Ask yourself, when's the, when's the last line, time you check your patience level? When's the last um, time you check your kindness level? When's the last time you check your virtual level? Glory be to God. When's the last time you check the level of your knowledge? Glory to God. Say these things be in you and abound. Watch this now. They, these things, um, make you that you neither be barren nor unfruitful in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. These things begin to open up your knowledge and your understanding when you let them be in you and abound. Watch this. But he that lacketh these things is blind. Oh, somebody say, if I, if I just keep disregarding, uh, I'm just um, Picking on patience right now. But if I just keep disregarding the need or the necessity of patience and just keep writing it off saying, no, this is just how I am. I, I, this, this is the way I'm just wired this way. I ain't got time for all of that. So I never let my patience grow. Then in moments where patience will keep me, I'm blinded. <laughs> Oh, so I do my knee jerk and I miss a God moment because patience would have kept me there had I let patience grow. Let it become fruitful in my life. But he did like these things. Says, Watch this. It's blind. Now I want you to see this. This is an unusual kind of blindness. It's kind of the, the blindness with the first touch and cannot see a fall off. Oh, I'm blind, but I can't see. 
but I cannot see afar off. Mm. And has forgotten that he was purged from his old sin. Oh, we can just preach on that right now. Glory be to God. Has anybody been in the moment forgot <laughs> that you let that go? <laughs> oh, I wish I had some help. Oh, has anybody been in the moment and forgot? Oh, I forgot I was that I stopped using choice words. <laughs> oh, help me. I'm sorry. I forgot I don't throw pots anymore. I just plum forgot in the moment. Come on, in the moment, in the moment, I forgot I don't pull the gun out. I forgot. I forgot I stopped sending folks to hell. I forgot. Uh -huh. And so a lot of times in those situations, we think it's the situation that got us there. No, it's because we didn't let these things abound in us. That knowledge wasn't up to level. That, that patience wasn't up to level. That kindness wasn't up to level. That charity that bears all things was not up to level. So you went back to the flesh. Okay. Somebody said, no judge, no judge, no judge, no judge. No, just work on this area. Just, just. He said, if you're about, you'll be able to see it fall off. I'll be able to see that coming and say, you know what, I'm going to pass that test. Just like he saw her coming way, way fall off. And she said, it's well. I ain't going to cancel my blessing with frustration. I ain't going to cancel my blessing. Told this man, don't trick me, don't do this. I, no, 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 I'm going to watch. It's well. Wherefore, therefore, the rather, brethren, give diligence to make your calling and election sure. For if these things, for if you do these things, ye shall never fail. All right, let's wrap this up. Before we go home, glory be to God. Hallelujah. Amen. So Hebrews eleven one says, "Now faith is a watch this now. Now faith, we're talking about faith, seeing it from where you are." Transformation of sight by faith. Now, faith is a substance. Watch this. It's a substance of things for it. It's the evidence of things not seen. In other words, glory be to God, things not seen in the natural, I can see it by faith. It becomes, it, my faith creates the evidence of it. Whew. It was the evidence of that God would provide a lamb. Abraham's faith was the evidence that God would provide a lamb. So that's why he said, God will provide himself a lamb. <laughs> oh. Woo, glory be to God. Come on, his, he wasn't walking in the natural because it's in the natural. Glory be to God, hallelujah. He could only go by the instruction, slay the boy. He said, but no, I'm trusting God. Trusting God. Somebody put it in the table, I'm trusting God. God's going to make a way of escape for me in this. Glory be to God. I'm trusting God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Last verse, I want you to get this, and I want, you to, I want you to spend some time, glory be to God, resetting yourself around this verse. I want you to spend some time, glory be to God, with your vision board, with your goals, with your confessions, resetting yourself around this verse. I don't want you to take, take to continue to take down because certain things have not manifested in the natural yet. I want you to see God speaking to you from this verse, seeing it from where you are. And God said to Abraham, after Lot has separated, glory be to God. Uh, come on, we, 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 we sanctified ourselves on the crossover. We set some things aside. Lift up your eyes. Lift up now thy eyes. So the first thing is, I got to have the courage to look up. Everybody say, I'm going to look up. I'm going to look up in this situation. Hold on, hold on. If I can look up in this situation, I can change how I talk about this situation. Because most of the time, a lot of times, we're talking down because we're looking down. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. So we're saying we can't, there's no way out. There's no way out. There's no way out. And so there's no way out. Even though there's a way out. But you can't see it. You're blinded by your own words. Watch this. And God said it to Abel. 
after Lot had separated from him, lift up now thy eyes. Somebody put it in the chat room. I'm going to look up. I'm going to look at everything brand new. I'm going to look at everything with new possibilities. I'm going to look at everything that, hey, God can make a way out of no way. And look from the place where thou art, northward, southward, eastward, and westward. Glory be to God. I want you to look from the place where you are. You ain't got to move. UPS don't have to show up at your door. Glory be to God. Ain't nobody got to um, cash app you at this present moment. God said right now, this is the faith moment. I want you to see it by faith. Next steps are coming. But right now, the first step, I don't want you to look up and see it by faith. Let your confession change on based on what you're going to see. Watch that. Let's finish the verse. For all the land which you see, God said, everything you see, to thee I will give it and to thy seed forever. Come on. There's a generation. There's a, there, there's a generational blessing based upon your actions in this right now by you embracing this verse right here, right now. Glory be to God. That generational wealth can be in your family right now that your grandkids are living off of this shift that you make in your life right now when you begin to see it by faith. You say, you know what? Um, we're not living by, like this no more. No, 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 no. We, we're not living like this no more. I, I'm, I'm going I'm to receive what God has said for me. Come on, take the courage, amen, to live on another level. Everybody put it in the chat room and say, my faith going to another level. I'm going to take the courage to live on another level. Somehow, sometimes the enemy has convinced some people so much so, well, girl, no, don't go up because then you have to come back down. No. The scripture said he increased, increased, and then went forward. It said nothing about going backwards. That's man talking about one step forward, two step back. That's man. That's not the word. But we're going to take this word, apply it to our eyes, and let God open our eyes to see all the possibilities that this word brings to bear in our life. Amen. Glory be to God. Come on, give God some praise right here, right now. Hallelujah. Amen. Come on, if you're going to another level, glory be to God. If you're willing to put the work in, hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Everybody say, I'm going to put some work in. Come on, come on. I'm going to put some work in until I get this, get this under control. Now, don't, 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 don't let your head go down. Keep your head up and just say, I got I to gotta put some work in. That's all. That's, that's all I got to do. I, put, I still got my robe of righteousness in. I just need to go to another level in my faith. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Let's pray. Father, we thank you and praise you and we give you glory for this word, this time at your feet, God. Thank you, God, for giving us a, a prescription that will heal us, heal our blindness, that we can apply your word, the water of your word to our eyes, to the areas in which we're blind, and that your word, God, will recover our sight. We thank you, Father, for that. Teach us how to walk that out, God, to keep applying your word to this area, God, that we need our sight recovered, that we can see what you have provided and not accept anymore the default from the flesh. Bless us, God. Anchor this word in our hearts. Cover us under your blood. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I pray this word bless you. I pray, amen, glory be to God that you apply it. Glory be to God and know now this word works. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. So just like you might put a healing balm on your hand, on your muscle, amen, you keep applying the word in that area. You keep confessing the word in that area, and that word is going to bring about a transformation, and you'll see your sight and transform. God bless you. I'll put you back in the hands of Minister Denise and she'll take us the rest of the way. God bless you. You have just heard another life transforming message from Life by Design Ministries. We would love to hear from you. Please visit our website at www.lbdm.org and remember, God has a design and purpose for your life.